Hey, congratulations. So you had a baby a few months ago and looking for a workout? Check out the six-month postnatal exercise program. Hi there, Coach Tanya, welcome back. What I have for you in this video today is a six months postnatal workout. Now, I do want to mention that before starting any exercise program after you've had a baby, you do need to get your doctor's thumbs up, you need to get his approval and the green light. If you have not done any exercise or done any sort of fitness or physical activity since having your baby, go back and check out the three month postnatal workout because that's a good place to start. If you find that one a little too easy and you want something more advanced, absolutely you can jump back up into this six month workout but um, you want to be really careful you don't want to I, I understand I have three children of my own and I understand wanting to get right into um, you know getting back to that pre baby body but you do have to um, you have to be really kind with yourself and you have to be very conscious of making sure you're not you know causing any harm or straining anything and if you had any issues with your pregnancy if you had any trouble or challenges with labor and delivery, you definitely want to get your doctor's approval. You want to make sure you're feeling good and feeling strong and uh, so that when you do do these workouts, you are actually getting the results that you want. So if you've already done the three month postnatal workout and you're ready for the six month, let's go. If you haven't done that yet, check it out first and I will see you here for this one. Okay, the first exercise is a glute bridge. Now, if you were somebody that did a lot of working out exercising before, you probably know what a glute bridge is, but having just had a baby, it's going to feel a little different because what we're really working on is that core area and getting those muscles strong again. So when you're doing the glute bridge, same exercise as the, as the glute bridge has been for years, I really want you to focus on tightening that core, okay? So when you lift and squeeze, you're tucking those glutes up, but you're also really engaging that core and holding yourself nice and strong for five, four, three, two, and one. And that's also gonna help strengthen that hip and pelvic girdle area, all right? You're aiming for 10 to 12 repetitions of each of these exercises, and you'd like to do the whole thing for three rounds. Do what you can, and you will build up from there. But let's just do a couple more of these together so you get an idea what it feels like. And you're probably gonna notice it feels a little different. You might be a little more tender, a little more sore. Things might feel a little loose. Don't worry about it. This is going to strengthen and get stronger. Okay, let's do one more of those. Come up, tuck and squeeze and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, the next exercise is double knee up. So we're gonna stay on the floor, keeping our knees bent. All right. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're just, basically you're lifting your knees up to like a tabletop, a 90 degree position. Now you do have to use your legs obviously to move them, but you, you also want to make sure that your core is strong that you're holding it strong and tight and you're utilizing that core area to also lift those legs up. So tighten, push that or pull that belly button, like pull it towards your spine and lift your knees up to 90 and then lower. And lift and lower. And you're going to feel that in your core, which is exactly where I want you feeling it, okay? Again, you wanna do 10 to 12 of these and you wanna do it slowly, okay? Good job. All right, the next one I call a single leg pump. So it's like a bicycle, but we're moving, um, gonna be moving more slowly because again, we're really engaging our core to do this exercise. So keeping your, bring your knees up so they're at 90 and you're going to extend one leg and hold it for three, two, one, and in, other leg. And I'm, I'm again, I'm pulling that, my belly button towards my spine. I'm using my core to control the movement. Nice and slow. And again, 10 to 12 repetitions on each side. And make sure you're breathing and not holding your breath. All right, good job. Okay, let's bring it on over around for a plank. Um, one of the best overall exercises, one of the quickest ways to really train your core and get it strong is using a plank. Now. Having had a baby not all that long ago, your core might be feel a little weaker. You might feel like planks, they might, it, it might hurt a little bit, 
do what you can. I'm going to say hold it for 30 seconds and with each round add 10. But if you get to 15 or 10 or 15 seconds and you can't hold it anymore, that's okay. Just try to add five to 10 seconds with each round. So just basically a plank on your elbows, toes on the floor, whether you have your feet in or out, really doesn't matter what's comfortable. You wanna make sure that you've got a straight, flat back. Okay, and you're just holding that for 30 seconds. That's the goal on the first round. And with each round, you wanna add 10. So the next round you'd be holding for 40 and then for 50. And a plank is a nice, easy exercise. You can just, you know, at any point in the day, drop down and, and do a couple planks just to keep that core strong, keep building up that core strength. Staying on this side facing the mat, um, bird dogs. Bird dogs are another great way to build up core strength. And if you've never done a bird dog, they're actually, I, had, I don't even know why they're called bird dogs. Do you? I don't know. Okay, so on all fours, you extend one leg out and the opposite arm and you hold. I like to hold for like five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. And when you're doing this, you really have to keep that core engaged to hold your balance. Do a couple more here. Nice flat back. We don't want to see rounded or swayed. All right. And those are your bird dogs. The final exercise I've included is another plank, but it's called a seesaw plank. So it's a plank adding some movement. And um, what I like about this one is it kind of takes your, if you, if you struggle with holding a plank and you're starting to think about the time, when you add the movement, it kind of can take your focus off that a little bit. So you want to get into the regular plank position, okay? Toes curled under. And with a seesaw, you're just moving forward and back. Forward and back, okay? Just like that. And again, you want to do this for 30 seconds for your first round. Next round, you want to add 10. And the final round, you want to add 10. And there you go. Three rounds of that for your six month postnatal workout should have you feeling pretty good. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click over here to subscribe to our channel. Give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. And check this out. It's a free five minute glute report. And this right over here is another video. I know you're going to love it. I'm Coach Tanya with Critical Bench. Have an awesome day.